Hey, Quan Squad, this your girl, she wanna come to you live, live in the color. Hey, my people, hey, my people. It's 9.53 here in Columbus, Georgia. That's morning time. Um, I'm up early because I have the kids. JJ putting together a puzzle. Araya, she sleep. Um, so, yeah. But I want to talk about relationships and knowing your worth. Um, I've seen some things here on YouTube that has really disturbed me. I just don't get it. I've seen things on TV that disturb me. <coughs> and I just don't get it. Y'all, when you are in a relationship, you must know your worth. Come on, come on. Yeah, you must know your worth. Because if you don't, you're going to fall for any and everything. You're going to fall for the okie doke. <coughs> Every time. When you first date, when you're dating, that's the time you take to get to know one another. Whether you get, whether you, whether you find out uh, people's habits, their personality, what, what what turns them on, what turns them off, what makes them tick, you find out if they have a temper, find out if they want kids, if they want marriage, and all of that. Now, if you are dating and somebody tell you that they want kids and marriage, okay, that's a good thing. And then y'all end up dating exclusively. Just, you know, y'all become a monogamous, monogamous relationship. Okay, and then maybe two years come, you know, two years come and go, and still no marriage proposal. Another year come by. Still a marriage proposal, and if that, and let's just say you you the woman that wants to get married and have children, and you know the guy says, okay, we you know why y'all date. He says, okay, I can do that, but then two and three years go by, and it's like that guy reneged on what he said. Let me tell y'all. You 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 do not need to stay with somebody that renege reneges on a promise. Okay, if somebody tells you or or matter of fact, if they show you they don't want to marry you, it's time for you to go. <clears throat> if y'all been together for three years and he still has not proposed to you, he keeps saying he'll do it this year and this year came and he had not done it. Or Another year come by, and he still has not done it. It's time to pack your stuff, and it's time to leave. Don't waste seven, eight years on somebody that don't want you, that don't want to be with you, that don't want what you want. All they want to do is share a bed with you. That's not, <coughs> that's not cool. Do not play with somebody's feelings by letting them think that you want the same things as they want. Because it's not cool, it's not right, and it's not fair. If you don't want marriage, don't promise that to somebody. Okay, do not promise marriage to somebody and you and you know deep down that's not what you want. Okay? Don't have somebody thinking that you're going to propose to them and you don't. Cause it's not cool. It's not right. It's it's leading that person on, and people get hurt when stuff like that happens. People feelings get all into it. And if you've been with somebody, and you have a business, and that person help has has helped you with that business, help that business grow, <coughs> and they're not good enough to marry, they're not good enough to continue to help you with your business. Just cut all ties and go on about your business. Don't stick around for somebody or with somebody that, that don't care anything about you because you're wasting your time. Keep going back to the same person that, that don't want 
the same things out of life that you want. Because life is too short. Life is entirely too short. <laughs> life is entirely too short to be playing games with people's feelings. Fellas, don't play games with women's feelings. Women, don't play games with the fellas. Okay? Because it's not cool. If this man wants marriage and you don't, you should have told him that when y'all were dating. Okay? Fellas, if you don't want marriage and kids, you should have told her that when y'all were dating. Don't sit there and promise her that you will marry her after y'all been together for three years or whatever. And, and, and you don't marry her. Don't, don't string her along like that. Because if you make a woman fall in love with you, she's gonna, she, she, she's gonna stick around until she's sick and tired of being sick and tired of being sick and tired. That's, that's just how it goes. A woman will stick around until she gets sick and tired of being sick and tired. <coughs> Ladies, please just know your worth. Know when to let go of a relationship that is not going anywhere. Because if you keep staying, that man is going to think, okay, well, shoot, she's staying, so she must love the treatment. Okay, so, and that's what that guy is thinking. And guys, same go for you. Do not stay in a relationship with a woman and that relationship is not going the way you want it to go. You don't have to put up with abuse and disrespect from a female. You don't have to put up with that. I'm here to tell you that you don't. You don't have to put up with disrespect from from from, from, from women that don't want the same things out of life that you want. Know your worth. Know your worth, fellas. Y'all are worth more than gold, just like we are. And y'all need to know your worth. Know how valuable, know how valuable you are. And let that woman go if she's not giving you what you need out of life. Because life is just too short to be arguing with people, to be fighting with people. Life is just too, life is just too short, y'all. It, 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 it really is. People, people are dying because of stress and, and a whole lot of other stuff. And it's just time to just take care of yourself. Don't don't let nobody uh, bring you down. Know your worth. Don't don't stick around in in a relationship that's not going where you want it to go. Move on and find you somebody that's gonna give you what you want in life. And I tell anybody that. I would tell anybody in this world, do not stay with somebody that don't want to give you what you want or give you what you need. Because it ain't, it ain't, it's, it's, it's not worth your sanity to stay with somebody that's not going to give you what you need. Your, your peace of mind is more important than a relationship. You need to take care of yourself. <coughs> and if you are already married and your marriage is not going right and you going you gone through the counseling and you talked to the pastor and you did the workshops and you've done this and you've done it. If you've done all you can 
to make your marriage work and it's still not working, let it go. Let it go. God ain't going to frown down on you because you couldn't make your marriage work. God was ready for you to divorce and to stay in a marriage that's unhealthy. If you are in a marriage that is unhealthy, it is time for you to go. Do not stay in a situation where things are not healthy and happy. Do not stay for the kids. Now, if you can get along, you know, I mean, not, I mean, if, if, if you can get along well enough to stay for the kids and not argue, and y'all, and y'all, Problems ain't, ain't ain't abusive, and you can stay until the kids get older. Okay, <coughs> some people do stay for the kids, cause a lot of people a lot of people do not want their ki- kids to come from from broken homes. Okay, a lot of a lot of parents don't want their children to have a broken home, and I understand that. Now, if you can get along with that man, until your kids become 18, 19, okay. And if y'all can get along that that long, that's fine. But if you cannot make things work, <coughs> things, are, things are just too hostile, then it's, it's just time to just let stuff go. I don't, I don't recommend people staying in relationships that are not working, okay. I don't recommend people staying in relationships <coughs> that are, that's full of heartbreak. Because it's not fair and it's not right. Do not stay in a relationship that's not working for you. Know your worth, people. That's cute. So, so you know. Yeah, y'all. I want to do this video because I'm just like I don't understand <coughs> how people stay in relationships so long waiting on a man to propose. Y'all, let me tell you something. If a man don't propose, women, if, if if a man don't propose to you, <coughs> here, go go drink your milk. Clean your nose, bro. Clean your nose. Clean your nose. Get that tissue and clean your nose, JJ. Get that tissue and clean your nose, for Clean your nose, for I don't care, don't 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 that pulls Okay, I'm back, y'all. I had to see about JJ right quick. He he didn't wanna clean his nose. But anyway, like I was saying, know your worth. Don't stay in relationships that's not working for you. Because it's not cool to be in a relationship that's not healthy, it's not happy, that there's no future. Why stay? I stayed in a relationship and there was no future. There was nothing for me in that relationship. So I stayed for too long and when I got tired of being sick and tired, I left and I stayed gone. And I've been gone for a long time. I thought about going back, but I did not go back because it was not worth my time or my effort to even go back to that. But I go get it. Uh, but uh, yeah. don't, don't, don't go back to relationships. That, that were not good in the first place. It's the reason you broke up in the first place. Once you gone, stay gone. Okay? Ladies, let me tell you something. If a man promised you marriage and kids and he has not given you marriage and he has not given you kids, it's time to go. Get, go get yourself happy and healthy and right. Once you go get yourself happy, healthy, and right, you find you a man better than the one that you had. Okay? And you live your life. 
Find somebody that 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 that, that will marry you. <coughs> <coughs> Give you all the love and attention that you won't deserve. Give you the support that you need. Okay. And nothing I can't stay in. Don't don't get in a relationship with, with with a man that's got his own business, and then you put your your life on hold. Don't put your life on hold for him, and he's not putting his life on hold for you. If he if if all he thinks about is is himself, it's it's time for you to go. It's time for you to do what you need to do for yourself. Do not. Put your life, your dreams, your aspirations on hold for nobody. Men, that go for you too. Do not put your life on hold for somebody that don't want to support your life, your dreams, your goals, your aspirations. When you are in a relationship, you're supposed to, you're supposed to work together towards each other's goals and the goals that y'all have together okay cause if you got cause if y'all got together and he had this and you had this y'all need to be able to support each other in the individual things that y'all had going on before you met okay and then if y'all decide to do something together do that together as well support each other in that as well but don't sit there and and put a stop to your life JJ, I hope you ain't eating no snot. Come here. Okay, I'm back, y'all. Y'all, don't, don't, don't let go of your dreams for somebody that is selfish. Okay? I've seen relationships here on YouTube that have gone to hell. And it, don't, and it didn't make no sense. Especially if you are in the bodybuilding world. <coughs> when you are in the bodybuilding world and you are in a relationship, trust me, believe that is a selfish. The, 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 the bodybuilding world is like real selfish and real conceited. And when you are in a relationship with somebody and that's all they do, day in and day out, is work out. And go to and, and go to the gym and do this and do that, and they don't have time to help you with your your dreams. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to leave. It's it's just time. It's just time to just go. Don't waste your youth on nobody that don't want the same things that you want. Or don't want to help you with your goals, your dreams. Don't don't put your life on hold. Don't put your self on the back burner and help somebody. And when they get big and noticeable, they don't want to turn around and turn the favor to you to help you get yourself where you want to be. It's Sometimes, sometimes breakup is a, is, 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 it's a good thing. I'm stuttering. I'm sorry. Um, sometimes breakups are a good thing because breakups help us. It teaches us who we are. It teaches us a lesson on what it, it makes us learn about, okay, well, this went wrong in my relationship with this person. Okay, I don't want to repeat this anymore. So I need to get myself together. I need to make sure that I know who I am, what I am, and what I can bring to the table. And once you know who you are, <coughs> you are good as gold. Okay. Oh, my throat. Um, get yourself together. After a breakup, go out there and date. Have fun. You know, just have fun dating, getting to know your, you know, have fun dating, 
why you getting to know yourself all over again. Okay. Be be spontaneous. Be fun. Just, just be free and happy while you're single. Okay. And if that girl, that guy comes along and they sweep you off your feet or you done swept them off of their feet, hey, it's, it's, it's all gravy. Okay. Have fun. Be free. Enjoy life. Okay, because you only get one, y'all. Like, for real, you only get one life. You need to learn how to live it and enjoy it to the best of your ability. Stop stressing the small stuff. Okay, don't stress the small stuff in relationships. Because when you stress the small stuff, the bigger stuff will get bigger. And somebody will end up in somebody's jail or in somebody's morgue. Because y'all did not know how to work out the small stuff. I'm just saying, be careful when you come with, when you are in relationships with, 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 with people. <coughs> Don't play games with people's lives, with their emotions, with their feelings. Because it's not cool. Don't leave people alone if you don't want the same things out of life. That's all I'm saying. But I'm going to end this here. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. Um, if you made it to the end of this video, put relationship in the comment section. Until next time, have fun playing with your nails. If you wear nails or if you wear your own. Have fun playing with your makeup if you wear makeup or you, or you just not learning how to use it. And y'all, please live life because God only gives you one. Mwah.